On-screen takeoff gives you the ability to assign your quantity results to physical areas of the project, such as by building, floor, level, wing, or phase. As your takeoff is assigned to these areas, you can then view your quantity results with respect to those locations. To create bid areas, open the cover sheet for the bid. Within the cover sheet, select the Areas button to the right to open the Bid Areas dialog box. There are a few different ways to add areas to your list. First, you can quickly and easily add sequential areas using the Quick Add button. Give the area a name like Floor or Building in the Name field. Then, enter the beginning number of the sequence and the ending number of the sequence and press OK. Note that you can only use numbers in the Sequence Indicator fields. You can also add individual areas by selecting the New button. Then, just type in the name of the physical area you want to identify. It's not uncommon to use both addition methods in the same job. You might use the Quick Add option for your floors, but then the New button for things like the roof, basement, or foundation. You can also change the display order of your bid areas. Select an area you want to move, and then use the Move Up and Move Down buttons on the right to change its corresponding position in the list. Additionally, you can also create sub-bid areas. This is good if you have your primary bid areas listed as buildings 1, 2, and 3, but then want to assign floors to each of the buildings, for example. To make a bid area a sub-area of the one above it, simply click on an area, and then click the Indent button to the right. You can use the Outdent button to undo that. Click OK once you're done adding and organizing your bid areas. Then click OK again to close the cover sheet. At this point, you've created your bid area labels, but you haven't actually assigned any of your takeoff to those areas. You can do this in one of two ways. First, you can set the area prior to performing any takeoff using the Area field at the top of the screen. Once you set the area, then any takeoff you perform from that point on is automatically assigned to that area. But what if you've already performed the takeoff, but didn't assign an area beforehand? No worries, you can easily assign takeoff to a bid area after you've completed your work. Simply choose the area to which you want to assign your takeoff from the dropdown. On-screen takeoff then grays out all of the takeoff on the sheet not currently assigned to that area. Only takeoff that is assigned to the selected area displays in color. Now, rope around the takeoff you'd like to assign to the bid area. Once the takeoff is selected, right-click, and choose Assign to Current Area. That takeoff is then assigned to the selected area. You can continue this process as many times as you need on the sheet. Once you've completed assigning the takeoff to the proper bid areas, you can then select the different areas from the list at the top and see colorized representations of the takeoff assigned to each area. Now that you've successfully assigned your takeoff to the appropriate bid areas within your bid, you can go to the Takeoff tab to get an organized breakout of your quantities by each area. Once in the Takeoff tab, simply right-click within the Results grid and then select Group by Area.